We are infinite. All our individual paths have been preordained by the heavens. And it's for that very reason that we are free. As long as we release ourselves, our very essence, up to the heavens. When I first read Takuan's words, I felt myself pushing against them. I don't consider myself particularly religious or spiritual. As it goes, I'm about as agnostic as it gets, and I full-heartedly believe in free will and our ability to choose our paths in life. This seemingly contradicts the monk's words, but the more I thought about it, the more I felt I was beginning to understand what he was saying. We exist in this moment because of the countless relationships between countless aspects of the universe. If the Big Bang didn't contain the materials needed to create gas clouds, we wouldn't exist. If gravity didn't hold the exact properties that allowed for the creation of stars, we wouldn't exist. If the process of stars collapsing in on themselves wasn't exactly as it is, allowing for the creation of elements that would later make life possible, we wouldn't exist. If every species hadn't evolved just the way they did, well, we wouldn't exist. We don't live in a vacuum. Everything is connected. We're all but tiny threads within an impossibly large and complex tapestry that is the universe. Everything exists the way it does because, well, it has to. If anything was even slightly different, it would create a ripple effect that wouldn't allow us to exist in the way we do in this time and place. Whether or not there's a grand design, it's impossible to say that we are fully in control. Every action we take affects others, yet every action others take affects us. The pain and joy we cause, the pain and joy others cause us, we are shaped by the world, and yet we are the ones that shape that very world. We're all who we are. We're drawn towards certain things and repulsed by others. We have our own personalities that are partially shaped by our genetics and partially by our environments. Sometimes we're met with opportunities, and sometimes they elude us. It's possible to construct our own personalities and opportunities, yet that's just another facet of who we are. So what does it mean to truly be free? Is it the ability to fight against what life hands us? To forge our own path regardless of our personalities, affinities, and upbringings? Takuan doesn't seem to think so. True freedom lies in embracing ourselves and embodying understanding. To see everything as it is, effortlessly. To be aware of the larger and smaller picture. To know ourselves and understand the world around us. To see how insignificant, yet significant, we are. Knowing that we lie somewhere between the sky and ground, and recognizing that that's our place. That we may not be able to do anything, but we can do what we can do what only we can do, because only we are who we are. Only we have experienced what's led us to becoming the people we've become. True freedom isn't fighting our nature or what life hands us. It's accepting ourselves and what we've been given and letting it move and inspire us. It's becoming aware of the ways in which we affect the world. Do we leave people feeling warmer than when we arrived? Do we spread anger and fear what mark do we want to leave, and how can we do that while staying authentic to ourselves and our experiences? Everyone has something to offer the world, no matter how angry, misguided, or ignorant they may be. It's in accepting the self, others, and the world around us that allow us to move past these aspects of ourselves that act as blinders, that don't allow us to see the full scope of existence that we are but one piece in an impossibly large puzzle. Once we take a good look at ourselves, we can look onto the world with fresh eyes, because the world has shaped us, yet we have the power to shape it as well. This has been Evan. Thank you for watching. Huge thank you to Doji for being my first patron. 
Uh, once I get two more patrons for as little as one dollar a month, I will be creating a private Discord server where we can talk about anything from future video topics to what shows we're all watching or what manga we're reading or books or whatever to how our days are going. So I hope to see you there uh, soon. That would be awesome. <laughs> I hope you have a great day and I will see you soon. Bye.